hey everyone welcome back to my channel so okay so before I begin look at this cool friends shirt I got it from H&M really like it so as I was saying welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be talking about things that we say differently from other countries like um, particular object or a particular thing that we might say different from other countries now the countries that i'm going to compare us with um are britain australia and the us okay but before we begin this video if you're new here please like subscribe turn on the all notification bell so every time i post new content you will be notified all right so are you ready let's get into the video okay so what is this guys what would you say this is okay so all my jamaicans know that this is a slippers it's a slippers right yeah it's a slippers but not oh in america this would be called a flip flop but in Australia, hmm, this is where it gets interesting. In Australia, they call this a thong. <laughs> so it's a pair of thongs. Britain is not so bad because they call it flip-flop just like in America. But in Australia, it's a thong. Now, if I have an Australian friend, right, and they come to my house and they say, can I borrow a pair of thongs? Then hello, questioning their mental. You know what I mean? Be I would be questioning their mental, cause we know in Jamaica and all over the world that a thong is like a g-string, you know, a underwear. So it was very weird when I heard that Australians actually call this a thong. Okay, so the next one, this. What is this? In Jamaica, we say it's a van. <laughs> yes, we call this a van. Mm -hmm, that's a van, all right. But the Americans, the Americans say it's a truck or a pickup truck. Depends on how big it is. The Australians, they call it a Ute, a Ute, a Ute. Uh, well, the Britons they call it a pickup van. Well, the okay. Now the next one is who this? What is this? Well, we call it in Jamaica a water boot. Water boot. You know water boot? Like when you go into the farm in the morning. And the dew water in the ground, the water from the dew that fall overnight in the ground, you put on your water boots because you don't want your foot get wet and you get toes in between your toes get soggy and all that and all kind of bad stuff can happen to your toes. <laughs> so yeah, this is a water boot. Or when rain fall, you put on your water boot. When <laughs> you know, in Australia, they call it a gum boot. A gum boot wait what can you actually chew this boot it's like a gum maybe like how you can chew gummy beers it's like a gum boot <laughs> no it's a water boot but yeah in Australia they call it a gum boot and in the US of course it's rain boots you know put on your rain boots when the rain is about to fall you put on your raincoat so the Americans are really just straightforward, whatever they call stuff. So it's a raincoat because it's for when the rain is falling. It's a rain boot because it's for when it's raining. Yeah. But in Britain, they call it wellies. Did you put my wellies in the closet? I can't find my wellies. <laughs> the next one is pretty straightforward, even though in two of these countries, they call it some weird names. All right. So... This, my friend, is a liquor store. In America, they call it a liquor store as well. 
But of course, some people call it the ABC stores. We start for alcohol, beverage, and the C is for, is it cons? I can't remember, but it's alcohol, beverage, the C for supplement, and then they have state because of course, alcohol is controlled by the state. But yeah, it's either ABC store in America or a liquor store. But in Britain, it's actually called a off license. Will you be willing to drive me to the off license? Yeah, it's an off license. And in Australia, it is called a bottle shop or a bottle o. A bottle o. I don't know if I would say bottle o. Bottle o just sound like bottle o. It just sound like something exciting, right? Bottle o. Bottle o. Right? <laughs> Yeah, so in Australia, it's called a bottle o or a bottle shop. In America, it's a liquor store or an ABC store. In Britain, it's called an off-license. And in Jamaica, it's a liquor store. Okay. Mmm, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Can I get some of these sweeties? Yes, these are sweeties. In Jamaica, we call it sweetie. Our sweeties if it's more than one so can I get some of your sweeties in America these are candies in Australia they're called lollies now that's kind of weird for me because a lolly I know a lollipop to be like candy on a stick but in Britain it's called sweetie or sweets just like in Jamaica because in Jamaica we actually speak Britain English and not US and you say Z instead of Z like the last letter of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, R, J, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. We don't say Z, we say Z. Just like the Britons do. <laughs> it's kind of funny, I know. But we say Z, not Z. Okay, now to the next one. What is this, guys? This is a sweet pepper, right? Yeah, it's a sweet pepper because it's sweet. <laughs> But in America, it's called a bell pepper. In Australia, it's called capsicum. In Britain, it's called peppers. So yellow pepper, green pepper, red pepper. It's just peppers. <laughs> but yeah, in Jamaica, we call it sweet pepper. This is a darkers. In Jamaica, we call it a darkers. Are just eyeglass? <laughs> yes. Darkers are eyeglass. Well, in the US, they call it shades or sunglasses. Yeah. Let me put on my sunglasses. But in Britain, it's called sunglasses as well. In Australia, it's the same thing, shades or sunglasses. But in Jamaica, we say darkers or eyeglass. So what would you call him? Well, in America, this is a cop or a police officer. In Australia, it's an officer. In Britain, it's an officer as well. But in Jamaica, we call him a squaddy. Well, going squaddy. Good afternoon, squaddy. Or a Babylon. It's a squaddy or Babylon. Don't tell them I say that, especially if you're a police. <laughs> but in America, they call it the cops. I'm gonna call the cops on you or a police officer in Australia it's an officer in Britain it's also an officer okay so that was it guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you